guys, it's Will from Potato Strong here. Just got back from shopping for some clothes because everything was getting so loose. Um, thought I'd just show you. I used to have these 38, I have some pairs that were 38. These are 36 and they got pretty stretched. You can see here, you know, they were just ridiculous. Falling off me so much after a few months that uh, Bonnie went and got me these 34s, Levi's, and then these started getting loose in the waist and also in the leg. So I just went today, got these 32, 32 waist. So that's pretty cool. 44 years old, 32, I never thought I'd probably be in a 32. I'm, I'm still going to be losing a little bit of fat over time, so you never know, but uh, that's, I'm pretty happy with that. You just want things that fit a little bit uh, better, like I find that when I was overweight, I tended to try to, you know, I wore baggy, comfortable clothes. And, uh, you know, just now I'm finding everything, even jackets and underwear. I bought some shirts, they were small, there's these like workout shorts and uh, track pants, they're like small. It's pretty crazy. Just a mental image of myself, I was getting large usually. So... It's kind of weird, you don't really want to get small almost because you have this sense that... But that's why I'm also doing some weight training. Just simple things that I do when I think about it. It's chin-ups and push-ups and dips and a few other things. Every couple days or so. And, you know, you need time for the muscles to grow. But as we get older, we need to weight-bearing exercise and we want to maintain at least our muscle mass. But, I'm, you know, based on... A variety of exercises I've been able to gain strength and muscle hopefully by doing more more chin-ups more push-ups adding weight to them one other thing I got I was looking for the Yonanas machine but this is a, a magic bullet dessert bullet and I asked them it basically works the same thing so you put the bananas in there and it makes you know frozen bananas so you want to make sure you know I wanted it to be able to uh, to work with frozen bananas. I, I've made a few ice creams, banana ice cream with uh, you know berries and you can even make uh, chocolate, strawberries I've used and blueberries or you can put some uh, carob powder or cacao or whatever. Um, this says BPA free, that's cool. But I wanted to get the Yonanas, they didn't have it, and it's a bit of a drive to get to the store that I go to. And um, I've got a magic bullet, a small one, for blending. I don't use it much anymore, but sometimes it's great if you, make, if you have a gravy mix or you make your own. You can just add water and blend it together because if you put it on the, in the pot, you know, it sometimes separates or it's not easy to mix. The flour gets clumpy. So we do a little quick blend in the magic bullet sometimes. So I like that brand and I asked the lady and she said it basically works the same as the Yonanas. I normally use a Vitamix but it's pretty hard on the Vitamix and the stuff is down in the blade area. It just, it, you know, it's, it's a bit, uh, it's not ideal but it definitely works. So I'm excited about that as well. The reason I'm showing you guys the, uh, the pants, you know, it's exciting for me but I'm trying to show you guys that, that you can do this and don't be afraid of carbohydrates. If you're coming from a standard American diet or if you're going from a fruitarian, 80-10-10, you want to do some raw till 4, um, there's a lot of fear about starches and, and carbs. And really, I think most of the time, there's other things that should be looked at you know, that people have problems with as far as like restaurants and alcohol and fatty foods and junk food and takeout and all that type of thing, but the reason I'm showing like, some of the, the results that I have is also to inspire you guys and to show that, you know, high carb diet works. I mean, the fat is what stores, 
stored as fat, as fat in your body. And I'm just trying to, you know, the reason I called it potato strong was I liked it better than saying plant strong. You know, plants, you know, you think of leafy plants or something like that. Potatoes, people like those, you know, no matter who you are pretty much. Um, there's other starches if you don't like potatoes, but I just decided to call it potato strong. The other, the other the reason for that was I didn't want to, I wanted to show that people can have muscle. Um, there's people that have slight, more slight uh, frames. And that's partly genetics. Part of them are, they don't want to have extra weight on their body. They, they're cyclists or runners, and you don't really want lots of extra weight. So, you know, there's different goals and, and aims. And uh, I'm pretty sedentary, but I just wanted to show that somebody, just an average person, can can get great results. Because I think most of the results, you know, are, are basically diet, food related. So the, the exercise is great for for fitness and you know keep yourself lim limber and flexible and and strong not you know just to be able to do some basic tasks but it's basically to to promote the carbohydrates and show that potatoes you know they got a bad rap but people put a lot of sour cream and butter and bacon bits and all sorts of stuff on potatoes and we just got to get back to you know the, the natural fruits and vegetables and beans and whole grains so yeah, I do everything, you know, sort of through food and recipes, but it's, it's helping blood pressure, cholesterol, people getting off medications, you know, for diabetes. You know, it's helpful for cancer, and, and uh, it's being shown to help so many things because, you know, people worry about the environment, like the air that we breathe or the water we drink from contamination. But every day we're feeding ourselves at least three times a day. That food's going in our body and being absorbed and used to create new cells in our body and I mean that's the most critical thing that we're intaking into our body so I just uh, I hope you guys you know can get inspired by this and, and with the clothes like I tend to uh, donate them give them away to uh, there's a uh, local um, thrift shop there where they like a Red Cross type thing, where they, um, you know, make money selling the uh, the clothes. So nothing's really going to go to waste here, but you just can't deal with these things being way too big. So I held off quite a bit. I'm at home and just tightened up the belt and added, uh, you know, an extra notch on it. But it's about time to get a few new things. So, anyways, I just thought I'd mention that. And uh, when I when I make the ice cream. I'll definitely do a video, but uh, yeah, so anyways, hope you guys keep going with this diet, starch-based lifestyle, and uh, fruit, vegetables, legumes, grains, it's all good, and uh, drop me a line, let me know how you're doing. Okay guys, see ya.